Hey everyone, it's Sunday. That means it's my fun day, because it's my custom toys day. It's the figure review time, and today I have brought you this guy. His name is Term Hair Nader. Play off of uh, rabbits as hares and the Terminator franchise, which is one of my favorite movies growing up. So it's like I love most of the movies. Well, I get something out of all the movies that I enjoy. And then I enjoyed the, the TV show that was on for a couple seasons. And the comic books and all that kind of stuff. So when I had some artistic time, I came up with a character. Which I do have artwork for this one. Let me scroll back. This is the artwork that I did way before I made the figure. But you get the uh, dead bunnies in the background and the term hair nator coming to a theater near you. I really love this drawing. It was a very fun original character to create. And, uh, yeah. So that will be his card art. Once I find a bubble that will fit him. I might have to just poke the guns through the bubble. It's kind of like a fun little deal, but... For him, I used, I believe, a Gundam body. And then this arm is from a, a battle droid from Star Wars, I believe. Can't remember what the guns were. I probably found them in a bag of thrift store stuff. Or cut them off of something, but I don't know. But he was a fun one. Wanted to paint them kind of like Eastery colors, so I did like the light blue and the orange and the yellow. Something that you'd think the Easter would be. And I did like a little ink wash to make it look like uh, oil stains and stuff on the, the metal. And it was one of those little bunny bobbleheads, so I love that feature, so I wanted to keep that. His arms still move, his legs still move, his feet has all that awesome Gundam articulation. Let's see, there he is, front view, and then you get the, the side view profile. I mean, I love the... Came up with the idea for Gatlin Gun Eyes and just really liked it. So that's what I made it. And the back. And the other side. And this was super fun to create. He's still one of my favorite of the smaller size figures. And I had the artwork for him already, so one of these days I will put him on card. I'll probably just spray him out my artwork since I colored it digital. I will just spray mount it to a, a card or something and do it that way. Because he will be in my collection forever, most likely. I don't know if I can sell this one. This one was just... This one means something to me, so. I mean, a lot of them, most of them mean something to me. <laughs> some of them I can part with. Some of them, I just don't know if I can. But it'll be fun setting them all up when I get them, get all the card art for all of them done and put on the wall and stuff. So maybe I'll do an art show with just my toys on the cards. Who knows? Who knows what the future will bring? 
I am super busy with the comic books and commissions and things like that, so hopefully one of these days I can do the art full time and expand and do a lot more stuff. But until then, I'm still having fun along the journey. It is all about the adventure. And this time, the term Hair Nader was the review. I hope you all liked it. I would love to hear your thoughts and comments. If you haven't, please like and subscribe to my channel. It definitely helped me out. I am so close to a thousand subscribers. I can taste it. And uh, I appreciate all you all the support you guys have given me and hopefully I provide some fun content for you. But until next time, I know this week I got a couple I got a toy pickups video that's coming this week. So until then, stay tuned. Peace.